while visually inspecting your meter, uh, the first thing when I do when I take my meter out of my case, uh, I make sure that I take a good look at it, make sure it's working properly, uh, that the dial isn't broken or my buttons aren't missing, making sure that it's not dripping oil or any dust or anything, make sure that it's sound. I also, and this may sound a little silly, but I also take and shake my meter and if it rattles, I put it back down. There are times when you'll find a meter gets loose or something isn't connected uh, correctly. We don't want to use that meter if it's rattling or if it just doesn't look right. If something doesn't look right, it, it, it probably means that something isn't correct with the meter. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take it out and I'll give it a good visual inspection, take a look at it, try turning on. When I turn it on, I wanna make sure that my display is working properly, that it's not jumping around on its own, that it's uh, giving me the proper uh, symbol that I should be seeing for the different uh, setting I have it on. And just visually take a good look at it. Uh, I try not to open it up. Um, if it does have a calibration, sticker on it you definitely don't want to open that meter up that would void that calibration and that would not be a good thing so make sure that your meters are uh, in good shape uh, they i do get asked quite a bit when i should calibrate my meter and the most correct answer is per manufacturer suggestion so if you are curious do i need to calibrate my meter i would definitely get a hold of the manufacturer of that meter and ask them, this is the model I have, this is when I purchased it. Uh, they'll probably ask you for this, this number right back here and that identifies that particular meter from that manufacturer. And then they will let you know, yes, you should probably get that calibrated on an annual basis, maybe every two years or maybe every six months. That would really lead up to your company's policies on how often they want to see that meter calibrated. There's also some meters that never get calibrated. Uh, this particular one would never be calibrated. Um, however, some of your higher end meters would probably be calibrated on a regular basis, depending on your, uh, your company's policy. Also, you want to take a good look at your test leads and make sure that your test leads are in good shape. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big proponent on making sure that your finger nubs right here are in place, that there's no movement, no excessive movement in that. Uh, test lead, go along and take a look at the entire length of your test lead. And then how a test lead is stored is also very important. I, I store mine out of the meter uh, separately so as not to damage these connections right here. Uh, if you have any doubt whatsoever in any of your test leads and they don't look proper, please don't use them, not even for one measurement, because sometimes that one measurement will be the last measurement. Uh, I'd hate to see anyone get hurt or damage your equipment. So if you have any doubt, uh, pull your test leads out in a pair. If one of them fails, you take and cut them up and throw them away. Um, I would definitely follow your company's policy. They may want you to turn them in before they get cut up. But depending on your policy, you may or may not dispose of them in that in that uh, fashion. They are not very expensive and uh, it's definitely a consumable product uh, that goes along with your meter. 